It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday Fool, You Need This Tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and on this channel, every once in a while, I review a tool. A tool that I use here in the shop, or that I've featured on this channel. I don't even remember how the intro goes. But it's Friday, Fool. And this week we're talking wiring. So I've been thinking about wiring the Bibster. I got a lot going on with that thing, and I wanted to basically stock up on all the materials that I need to properly wire that thing. And really that's what I'm gonna bring to you today, but the main tool that I'm gonna bring you is this bad boy right here. Some of you may already have one of these. Some of you may know somebody that has one of these, but most of you probably don't know that you can actually label wires with these. These things will print on basically shrink, shrink, shrink tube. Shrink, shrink tube, is that what it's called? Heat shrink. So these will actually print on heat shrink. So you can buy heat shrink for a lot of these setups. This one here is the Dymo Rhino. Um, so you have to get the packs that obviously match the unit you've got. This one works great. So you can get these in like, this one's quarter inch, a uh, half inch. So your half inch is basically gonna look like that. Quarter inch, if I can pick it up, it's gonna look similar to this, they make every size in between, bigger, smaller. And so what happens ultimately is you can basically just wire, you can label wires that you want. So if you build a harness, you can label all those wires in that harness, uh, very nice and neat. Or you can label entire uh, harness pigtails, harness uh, leads, har harness harnesses. So basically what I'm saying is there's a couple things that I like to do when I'm making any kind of harness. Uh, I like to label everything, obviously. I like to use heat shrink connectors. So these connectors come with heat shrink already on them. And so like on this one, you can see, turn it over so you can read it. So on that one, you can see that uh, the actual connector itself is heat shrunk along with the label. And then this stuff here, which is like an expandable sleeve. So it's like a mesh that when you push it together, it expands. I don't know if you can see that. Heck, I can't even get it to work properly. So it expands. So this one will probably go up to like one inch all the way down to, what is that? Maybe half inch, three eighths. You can get these in different sizes as well. And these are just good ways to basically combine all your wires into one sleeve. And then what I like to do is I'll heat shrink over the end of that sleeve so it doesn't unravel or, or cause any problems. So you take those three things, just a good harness sleeve, some good wire obviously, some good shrink, uh, heat shrink connectors, some good heat shrink connectors, and yeah, label. And there you go, you got a professional high dollar looking harness that you built yourself and it can be exactly the way you want it. The good thing about all this is none of it's really that expensive. So if I'm not mistaken, I think the heat shrink was, uh, I don't know, maybe in the $20 range. And this is five feet. Both of these are five feet. Machine itself is under a hundred bucks, depending on which one you get. I think this one in particular was $70. And this thing will do normal labels as well too. So if you just want to label boxes or shelves or bins in your shop, this will do it. You'll do that along with print on these. Now like I was showing you, these come out flat. So you got to kind of open them up. Sometimes it's easier said than done. Yeah, so once you kind of get it opened up, then I'll just squeeze it. And then obviously you got to shrink uh, heat shrink tube. And then when you heat shrink it, it doesn't mess with the, the print on it at all. It doesn't affect it in any way, shape, or form. So these things work good, and obviously they work like any other heat shrink. They'll shrink way down. So like this, 
right, was that. So anyway, there you go. That's, uh, that's this week's tool. It's been a while, but I feel like this was a really good one that I hadn't brought you yet. The Dymo labeler, heat shrink labeler, which is what I usually use it for. I've got regular labels as well if I ever need them. Yeah, you can make you some awesome harnesses. As I always do, I'll drop links in the description for all this stuff. You can go check it out. Put the sleeves, the connectors, the Dymo, the heat shrink, labels, everything you need. You can go check it out and uh, yeah, it might be something you wanna add to your arsenal. I've said it before, but this is the kind of stuff that takes you from some like garage hack builder to the next level. I mean, it's one of those deals when they see it, they're gonna be like, Dude knows what he's doing. I mean, that, that dude knows his stuff. I mean, did you did you see his wiring harness and that thing? He did it himself. So anyway, as always, thank you for joining me. This week's tool, maybe, maybe I can find a couple more of these. How do I used to end these things? It's Friday, fool.